Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the market today, right? Bank Nifty alone tanked more than 600 points and Nifty around 200 points. India Week shot up more than, uh, at one point of the time, it shot up more than 8%. That's because you know what is happening. Global queues are really weak. That is uh, today evening, there's a major event. That is today evening around 7.30 p.m. Jerome Powell is going to come out and he is going to uh, give uh, Federal Reserve uh, uh, minutes meeting which is very very important and uh, let me tell you these meetings and all uh, back in 2015 or 2016 I really didn't uh, know that Federal Reserve uh, event was so much important we never cared you forget about uh, Federal Reserve we, <laughs> market didn't care even if uh, uh, Indian Reserve, yeah, Federal Reserve, uh, sorry, not Federal Reserve, uh, Reserve Bank of India governor came and talked about the Indian economy, right? So that is how the markets are uh, reacting and uh, the reason is lots of retailers have come into the market. In fact, yesterday I saw an article where uh, India's top, uh, top broker, that is Zeroda, has made a a profit of around 2200 crores right so that is how the markets are uh, when there is retailers lots of retailers coming in you ha you tend to see lots of volatility right so today 7 30 pm don't miss the event which is uh, federal reserve uh, powell is going to uh, come and give a speech now what is the speech going to be or what they are going to talk is that they are already hawkish right they have have an estimate and 2023 they have an estimate they think that most of the participant or federal reserve board has decided to be hawkish and they prefer to increase the interest rate whether it is 50 basis point or 75 basis point that we don't know but 2023 they have a target of around more than five percent so that is what we have to expect and uh, hopefully they will come out and uh, they are going to give a hawkish statement only when they are going to give the federal reserve next minute meeting we don't know but uh, after today wednesday today tuesday fin nifty expiry was there super markets were volatile after this uh, wednesday there is not going to be any event thursday there is again going to be an event which is u.s inflation data at around 7 p.m in the evening so the, these are the very most very important event which is upcoming events so make sure you hedge your position i'm not saying don't uh, hedge your position you hedge your position but make sure you uh, you uh, you like you have a calculated risk right don't take undue risks and all always hedge your position uh, so that in case there is any black swan event markets uh, your hedge position will always help you even if you are not uh, see weekly positions if you are taking monthly position or four month position you can do a uh, hedge in the weekly options as well right so this is how the markets are markets were super volatile and you know the reason uh, uh, and uh, i can tell you uh, bank nifty uh, is a major dragger it dragged more than 600 points and i'm sure fias would have sold we'll see about the fia data later but before that i'll show you or i'll tell you about something which is called long term option plus we'll see about the algo system also how our algo is running whether it is profitable or not i promise something and i'll make sure i do that right now what is happening is that uh, you know that uh, fia's uh, yeah fia data has come FIIs have sold for around 2,109 crores and DIIs have bought for 1,806 crores, right? Now, this is, uh, apart from this, if you see this, uh, if you see the world economy or what is happening around, uh, markets are uh, hugely volatile and you know the reason, right? Retailers and so on and so forth, lots of uh, inflation data. Since this Russia-Ukraine issue came up, all things went... Uh, uh, upside down right roller coaster right so it's very hard to trade now what i suggest is you don't uh, focus on weekly option instead go for monthly option or go for long term option that's what we suggested in our telegram group we have a vibrant telegram uh, telegram group if you want you can join for which the link is on the description below right we took a straddle 
not straddle yeah we took a straddle and we took a hedge also and till now it has given a profit of more than 10k i'll share the i'll share the trade details in our telegram group that's why i'm saying if you want you can join our telegram group it's a vibrant telegram group there are lots of people who discuss many things about the market you can uh, mo- you are most welcome to join the telegram group right now if you see the global queues global queues have been like volatile uh, in fact dow jones nasdaq or s&p has corrected significantly but what is happening in the US, uh, indian market is uh, in spite of uh, weak global queues and in spite of negative news lots of negative news we are not uh, we have not corrected indian markets have not corrected and you know that i am a bear i always look for markets to fall because uh, my mindset is like or my thinking is like that uh, we can make lot of money when the market falls right so that's what i think so i was all uh, i was always a bear and when the global queues were really pathetic really in the bears hand markets were falling like anything we saw nasdaq dow jones s&p 500 correcting more than 50% from all time high indian markets really never corrected right i can remember dow jones have correct uh, dow jones corrected more than 30 or 32% snp nasdaq corrected more than 30% but indian uh, indian stock market uh, not uh, was not correcting it was uh, like uh, it corrected just 15 or 17 or less than 20% so that was peculiar but now what is happening is opposite is happening when us markets and other global queues are kind of uh, positive kind of bouncing back we are reluctant uh, reluctant to go up on the higher side if you can remember nifty cannot is not even able to cross above 18600 now you tell me in order for nifty to cross 18600 what has to be done there has to be a positive news we really don't have any positive news maybe uh, uh, february 2nd when uh, our finance minister government of india finance minister comes out and give some positive news when in 2023 budget maybe it will go up until then we are likely to consolidate now when it comes to consolidating i can tell you this is the chart of uh, uh, this is uh, this is not the chart this is quantman i'll talk about this later Uh, this is a chart of nifty and 18000 was a really good support so lots of price action was happening around 18000 if you see on august series um, nifty uh, try to cross 18000 then there was a rejection came back to 17000 then on september again nifty try to cross 18000 then there was a rejection came back to 16800 then nifty went finally break uh, it uh, went past uh, 18000 on november now what is happening for the last one month uh, since uh, december january is that nifty is trying to close above 18000 and it couldn't now if you can remember that december last week of december nifty in fact closed below 18000 17800 to be precise and uh, eventually it uh, went up and again it closed above 18000 but it couldn't sustain now this could be a bullish divergence because uh, you might see a divergence and market may go up now 18000 is a very crucial 18000 is a very very crucial level of good support in case bank nifty sustains above 18000 maybe we can see 18600 otherwise we might see 17000 or 17500 levels that is uh, in terms of uh, nifty 50 and when it comes to bank nifty uh, 42000 is a very very crucial support and today in fact nifty uh, went below bank nifty went below 42000 but managed to somehow close above 42000 levels so just 14 or 15 points above 42000 levels and that is a very very crucial support in case tomorrow if there is any bad news in terms of us federal reserve and the market uh, let's say market uh, as of now as i talk to you if i if you see the us futures us futures are all already in the red uh, dow jones is down by 138 half a percent s&p nasdaq uh, futsi cac dac everything is down by half a percent so if uh, federal reserve chairman comes out 
and give some hockey statement or some negative statement we might uh, gap down tomorrow let's hope for the best 42000 is the number you have to remember when it comes to bank nifty and 18000 is the number you have to remember when it comes to nifty so these are the very very important levels if these levels are broken we might see uh, 42 uh, 41000 or 42500 levels in bank nifty tomorrow and maybe 17800 or 17700 in nifty tomorrow so these are the numbers you will have to remember and when it comes to algo trading don't worry algo trading today is there was a loss of around 623 rupees so as of now till now we will see how much the strategy has done this is the sixth day which the strategy is running so far this strategy has given a profit of around how much 4400 rupees right so this is the strategy today is the sixth day and as i promise i will run this strategy till end of the month and i'll let you know what is going to be the profit uh, i hope i have summarized everything no use of talking about uh, open interest because uh, there is no significance every time i see high open interest in any strike price uh, that strike is likely to be taken out right so today morning what i saw is i saw a huge put writing at 42000 right uh, not yeah put writing so i thought 42000 will be a support and it was taken decisively and uh, anyway they managed to close above 42000 that's a whole different ball game but what the point here is whenever we see a huge uh, uh, open interest in any strike whether it is nifty bank nifty or any stock option that strike tends to be taken out right so i hope i have summarized so let's see how things pan out tomorrow uh, until then i'll see you in another video until then take care bye